Mary Kay is here now to tell us what they can expect there and elsewhere. What a great day for us, Jim, for all those parades, all those events, and for that celebration, even going into the evening. If you're trying to turn on the grill, it looks fine. There's only a tiny, tiny chance of rain, mainly for southern Wisconsin. Otherwise, we're going to have a fair sky and a mild night. Temperatures will be hovering in the upper 60s most of the night, but I am concerned with tomorrow afternoon. We have a slight risk for severe thunderstorms ahead of a cold front, and the forecast tomorrow brings us two batches of rain. I'm thinking the first batch would come mid morning, giving us a break at lunchtime and then after two o'clock this round from two o'clock through sunset. Perhaps that's the window for severe thunderstorms to move into the area right now as we look live at the lakefront and at Grant Park. It's 83 at Midway West Southwest winds now at seven miles per hour. So we have this boundary over southern Wisconsin that could touch off a shower or two, especially for Kenosha County, maybe into Racine, possibly into Lake County. But otherwise, it's this batch of thunderstorm activity. I'm watching for tomorrow morning. It will weaken a bit as it moves into Minnesota overnight and especially into the Chicago area toward morning. But those scattered light showers now around Janesville, maybe Eagle Lake, and those are going to stay in place and maybe one or two could step over the line there into Lake or McHenry County. But again, as we move through the night, most of us do stay dry and we will stay with temperatures on the mild side. Now in the morning, there is that brush of rain coming with that that Dakota system. So mid morning activity is a possibility at about 10 a.m. for us with a slight break at noon and then in the afternoon heading for the evening rush. This is the first day of school for CPS. We could see some active weather going into the evening hours here 6 p.m. Notice how the front will start clearing things out over Wisconsin. We get the active weather right through sunset and some of those storms could be strong or severe, perhaps with damaging winds and also hail. So it's a windy, warm and maybe stormy day tomorrow. Cool changes come our way Wednesday. It's all because of this front. Here's the position 7 p.m. Tuesday. We are hoping that our cold front will interact with Dorian and start that turn on Wednesday more to the north and eventually maybe the northeast, but uncomfortably close to the Florida Peninsula. Right now, winds are 145 miles per hour. It's a category four storm, and this is the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. Any deviation slightly to the west would bring the core of the hurricane on shore along Florida's east coast. So we are watching that carefully hour by hour as information from the hurricane hunters come in. So tomorrow is summer like with some thunderstorms for us. But Jim, look at that smooth mm -hmm. sailing the rest of the week. Looks great, Mary Kay. Thank you.